Hi. Thank you. So I've got um, little mm -hmm. Oliver here for this video and probably um, the video you're gonna see tomorrow because I'm gonna film a last minute video <gasps> for tomorrow. I wasn't actually planning on filming it, but then yeah. I decided it's too good. I have to film it for you. And Oliver um, cannot be swayed to do anything else today, so he's gonna be in here. Hopefully not too disruptive and distractive. Distract, distract, distractive? Is distractive a word? Um, and I'm also wearing the same makeup um, with two exceptions um, as I was wearing in my Monday video, which was my Fit Glow video of the Sunny Days palette. I am wearing all the same makeup, but I'm wearing an illuminating primer underneath. And I also have a glow illuminator that I added to my foundation that I'll be talking about in this video because um, the, when I got this Skylar, I talked about this in my PR, my purchases and PR video from this month, uh, this month, that um, when I got the Skylar perfume scent of the month for June in the, in the mail, I had in a video idea can't talk today apparently. I'm gonna try to get better at that. Um, but the scent this month is Golden Glow, which is um, tropical, radiant, and warm. It's got scent notes of amber, jasmine, and coconut. So it made me think of like Tropical Island, you know, like products that, um, you know, would be reminiscent of like a tropical island or if you're on like a tropical vacation. Because if you're like me, um, and you're not going on vacation anywhere this summer. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere until probably October. We had originally planned to do something um, in California in a couple of weeks, but then we decided to save any money we would be spending, you know, to do the California trip for our October trip. So we're actually not going anywhere anytime soon. And I wish, I wish I was on a tropical island. I would love to be like on the beach. We went to Florida last year. I'm pretty sure it was last year. Time escapes me. But we went to Florida last year and we did like Disney World and we did Universal Studios and then we went to the beach for a couple of days. Like We spent time near the beach. So last year was great. You know, we all got super tan, but this year we are not going anywhere. So I thought what would be fun is to like show you products that make me think um, like I'm on a tropical island or like pro products that trick me into thinking I'm on tropical island. So I picked things um, that just make me feel like I'm getting away or like, does this sort of make sense? I hope this is making sense to you guys, but these are like products that are just like reminiscent of like a tropical island getaway, something like that. I hope, I hope this video was like cohesive and makes sense. But yeah, the Skylar perfume is what made me think of this idea is because it is, it's like a warm sort of like deep. It's not super floral, but it's got like you know, the notes of the amber and the, like a deep jasmine and coconut in there. So it made me think like tropical vibes. And then the other box that came in the mail after this one came in the mail. So yeah, I'm gonna leave the link for the Skylar sent down below. Of course, Oliver's gonna be moving my stuff and talking and chatting away. But um, yeah, I'll leave the link for the Skylar Scent Club down below. It is $20 a month, um, but if you are a new subscriber, I do have a coupon that you can use for 10% off. And then you can use it, if you decide to purchase anything else from the website, you can always use my 10% off code. So yeah, so that, I'll leave the information for that down below. And if you're wanting a perfume that is, you know, reminiscent of a tropical getaway and you're not getting away anywhere this year, um, that there's that one. And then the detox box came in the mail. Um, a couple of days later, which I didn't know the information of until like about it, it showed up at my door. And I thought this one would be good for this sort of video too, because it is, it's very like, you know, beachy hair vibes and like, you know, it's uh, it's stuff from Captain Blankenship. So it's like a whole box of goodies from Captain Blankenship. Um, and if you are familiar with Captain Blankenship, they are primarily a hair um, a hair company. They have a lot of hair different, a uh, lot of different hair products, but they do have some skin, a few skincare and a few body care products. And Oliver's gonna. I don't know what he just said, <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna. Sh I'll show you what's in the detox box, and then we'll get into the products that I have that make me think of like tropical island. So this has got mainly full size products in it. There in here, there are four full size products and one deluxe size. So the one body thing that's in here is the lemongrass and mint sea mineral liquid soap. So it's like a body wash. You can use it as a hand soap. Um, I think those are pretty much like the only uses that you can use it for. You know, whatever you use soap for. So yeah, there's a lemongrass and mint. I actually haven't smelled this yet. It's a it's a, it's a different combination. I've never smelled anything lemongrass and mint before, but. If you're, if you're if you're opposed to either mint or lemongrass, it'll probably be pretty offensive to you. 
So the one thing that Oliver didn't steal is the mermaid dry shampoo. So, you know, if we're on vacation, we're not washing our hair every single day. I know I don't wash my hair every single day, even when I'm at home. So dry, sam dry shampoo is crucial. My favorite dry shampoo is the Modern Minerals dry shampoo, but I do also really like this one. I, I had a container of this for a while until Oliver pulled the uh, bottom out of it and uh, dry shampoo got everywhere. So I'm actually glad to have a refill of it. Um, it's got a rose geranium scent, I do believe. Oh, it's Palma Rosa and Geranium. But yeah, it's a, it's a really good dry shampoo. I would call it probably my second favorite dry shampoo after the Modern Minerals one. I just love everything about that one. It is white, so it's not, um, it's not tinted or anything. Can I have those? I'm gonna try to steal these from Oliver so um, I can show them to you real quick. So then there's also the Mermaid Hair Oil which is nice. I have used this a couple of times already. Um, it's just, it's it says it adds luster and moisture to dry hair, but it's really nice to rub on damp um, damp ends before I blow dry it, so it acts as a little bit of a heat protectant. Thank you. I don't need all these yet, though. Can you keep them in there? And then there are two different versions of their sea salt um, hairspray. There's the sea salt hairspray, which is just their original, and this one is the deluxe size one. I have used this before, and I actually do have a full size of this. I'm iffy on this product. I don't I don't know what it is about sea salt hairsprays, or maybe it's just my hair in general. I can't really get them to work for me. I tried this a couple of times. I tried spraying it in my damp hair and letting my hair air dry, but it just looked like a disaster. Then I tried blow drying it and then, you know, sort of using this, spraying it all over and then scrunching it up, and then it also looked like a disaster. So really the only way that I can use these is if I dry my hair, curl it, and then spray this in like to hold it instead of like a hairspray, then these sort of work for me. But in terms of sea salt hairsprays, this is definitely my least favorite of all the ones that I've tried, but luckily it's like the smallest product in here, so. But yeah, I do also prefer the texturizing spray from Modern Minerals to that sea salt hairspray, but if you are already a fan of that or if you know sea salt hairsprays work for you, um, that is in there. So then the last fun thing in here um, is the Golden Waves Sea Salt Shimmer Spray. So I don't, this one I don't think has any hold. I don't know um, how different the formula is. Um, they both have water, aloe, sea salt. Um, this one has kelp extract, and then it has palmarosa again. Did I pick up the right thing? Yeah, it has the same scent as the, the um, dry shampoo. But this one's got mica, titanium dioxide, iron oxides, and then it does it as palmarosa and geranium again. So really the only difference in this one is it is as kelp extract. So I don't know if the kelp extract helps it hold a little bit better, but this really is just sort of like a fun, a fun thing to spray in your hair to, to give it a little bit of like a, a golden shimmer. So yeah, that's the last thing in here. It's a really good box if you're into, you know, trying some new fun, fun hair things. So yeah, I'll leave the link below for the detox box if you're interested in picking that up. So yeah, I thought it would be fun to feature these two things because they sort of, you know, go with the fun summer vibes. Um, you know, this especially. I like the perfume. It's very different than anything else that I have. I don't really gravitate to like sort of warm coconutty scents. So getting something like that that's a little bit fun um, for summer is is nice. So now I have to fight Oliver for all the stuff. So now on to, you know, the fun stuff. Um, so I've got like a collection of products here. I went through all of my things and I picked anything that sort of reminded me of like summer or tropical vibes or anything to like give me a glow. Because what I'm sort of like looking for this summer is like things to make me glowy, which is why I like this look so much. Um, so if you didn't see my Fit Glow video, the Sunny Days palette, um, check out Monday's video. I'll link it down below or up here maybe, I don't know. I'll link it somewhere and then you can check it out if you are interested in like the, the products that I used to get this look because I'm into like the glowy, bronzy, tropical vibes. You know, like the, the look you get when you are on like a tropical destination. When you come home, you're all tanned, you're all glowy, you've got like beachy hair. You know, that's kind of the vibe that I was going for here, if that sort of makes sense. So I'm just gonna talk about the, the one hair thing first because I actually did buy this before the Detox Market Box came in. I'm into rose gold more than I am gold anyway. Um, so this is the rose gold sunset shimmer spray um, versus the gold one that comes in the, in the detox box. I think these are just like, they don't leave like a lot of shimmer. It's just sort of like when you're out in the sun, the light sort of like catches your hair 
Oh, I, ma I made it like really damp now. Um, the light just sort of like catches the mica in your hair and there's just like a little bit of shimmer. So it's like, I did like one part of my hair and not the rest. I got my hair damp so you guys are about to see like the mess my hair turns into once uh, it gets damp. Damn, I had good hair and I just, I just messed it up. I am definitely not one of those people. I mean, I wish I was. I'm not one of those people who like when they go to the beach, you know, they come out of the water looking all like, you know, sexy, tousled beach hair. I look like a drowned rat or something. But yeah, I mean, it's fun. I like the, uh, I like the shimmer sprays cause they're fun. They're a little, you know, little fun thing to you know, spray it in your hair before you go out. A little bit of shimmer in your hair when you, you know, hit the light just right. So some body things, so a couple of body things that make me sort of give me like tropical vacation vibes. I've got my Ola deodorant in coconut citrus. I did talk about this in a recent video where I'm not really sure what's going on with Ola deodorant, but I really love, I mean, I've got some old sticks of the Ola deodorant and I really love the coconut citrus scent. I just got it on my mouth. That's pretty gross. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I hope that Ola deodorant sort of like gets it together and they don't like close completely because that would really suck. Um, because yeah, that's like the sort of the most tropical-y deodorant thing that I can think of. Everything else is more like rose. I mean, some have like citrus scents, but they're not like coconut citrus. Anyway, I have a couple of body things. I have a couple of body things. Um, one that's sort of like fun and shimmery and one that isn't. This is the Leilani Nourishing Body Oil and I'm totally obsessed with this, you guys. If you want like one product that's sort of gonna like take you on a tropical destination and like make you think that you have, you know, been on a tropical island, I would recommend picking this up. This is like my favorite body oil ever. I don't think I've ever used a full-size body oil I can't even think of a time where I've actually used a full-size body oil before it's gone bad. I haven't wanted to stop using this since I got it. I did take like a week, week and a half break to test the Agent Natur one, which I was so glad to put that away and grab this one because this is like my favorite body oil. I mean, clearly you can tell. I just, I haven't stopped using it. Oh, I love this stuff so much. It's so like, it is. It's like warm and beachy and floral and tropical. And this is just like my favorite body oil. One that's more fun um, and will give you like that shimmer. This is the Maya Chia highlight of the day. So it has more of like an orange, like a sweet orange scent, but it's got like a fun mica, mica in it. So it gives you like a very subtle, like a very subtle glow. So like my face is all glowy. This one would give my body like a nice glowy, so you could put it like, you know, on your decollete or anywhere you want like your body to shine and shimmer, whatever. I really like that one too. And I think she just, she just made a new batch of it for summer. It does only come out in the summer, I do believe, because it is more of like a shimmery mica product. Um, but I really, really like that. That one's a great one for, um, it's a great one for summer, let's see. It's just like sort of slightly glowy. It doesn't leave any like glitter particles or chunks or anything. And then the only other body thing that I have, I hope Oliver's not too annoying. <laughs> um, I've got a hand cream. This is the Precious Sea Hand Savior by Edible Beauty. This is a really great hand cream. It's very um, nourishing and moisturizing. And let me tell you, it's got a nourishing cocktail of exotic fruits, herbs, and sea plants. It's got seaweed extract. Um, it's got um, parsley seed and mangosteen. So it's got a nice, Got a nice scent. I'm gonna put some on right now. So yeah, if you're looking for like a hand cream, it's got like sea properties. It doesn't so much smell tropical, but it's got like the seaweed in it, like sea plants. It does have more of like a fruity smell from like the mangosteen, but it is, it's a very rich, nice hand cream. And I'm not one to use hand cream a ton, but this one doesn't leave like a super greasy feeling on the hands, which is what I hate usually about hand creams is how greasy they make my hands feel. And especially in the summer when it's like 111 degrees, which I think it is today, it's blazingly hot. Tomorrow it's supposed to be even worse. Um, it, to, to have something that doesn't leave your hands like greasy and, but leaves them like nourished and moisturized too is especially important. So I really, really like that hand cream. It's like one of the only two hand creams I like. I also like the Osea one, which I didn't bring in here, but I like the Edible Beauty one I think better because it, it definitely doesn't leave. My hands are not greasy. Like I could do anything now, but the rest of my hands feel 
Highly moisturized. What's up, my dude? All right, so let's talk about a few skincare skincare things. I got, well, I got more skincare things than anything else. I picked things that were both either like reminded me of like a tropical destination or had like specific sea Whoa. ingredients in them because it just made me think. It made me think. What is that? Sick. Hmm? Sick. Is that a stick? Sick baby. It's baby stick. So I have the Edible Beauty Deep Sea Collagen Elixir to plump and refine. And this is the one of the Edible Beauty boosters that um, really helps plump skin, which definitely is something that I really want when I'm going on vacation because I don't want to wear makeup. Um, I just want like really nice, plump, hydrated skin. And this one really does that. It's the, it's the most plumping and hydrating of the Edible Beauty elixirs. I really, really like that one when I'm looking for super, super plump, hydrated skin. And then I also, of course, you have to mention Mahalo because Mahalo is a Hawaiian tropical island brand. I love mixing the Hawaiian hydration and the Vitality Elixir. It is what I did today for my skin. And this is like, it creates just a super hydrated, moisturized, just beautiful skin layer. I absolutely love this combination. The Vitality Elixir and the Hawaiian Hydration, so good. Such a such a good combination, especially for acne, oily skin, um, but this helps keep your skin hydrated as well as acts as like an acne, um, acne serum. This is such a great combo. This always makes me think that I'm like on some tropical destination. I would love to go to Hawaii and like see Marina's lab and everything that she does and all that. So we'll add a couple of more Mahalo products in here, which I, before I move on to the next brand, that makes me think like super tropical vibes. Um, I've got the Unveil, which of course, even if I'm going on any vacation, the Unveil is like the only cleanser I bring with me because I don't need to pack it, um, you know, in my suitcase, or I don't need to worry about it because it's not a liquid. So I love that. <laughs> And there, then Rare Indigo also makes a fantastic moisturizer for day or night. I wish you could smell this. It really is incredible. It, you can lay it on thick at night and it absorbs fully by morning or you can lay it on thinner during the day and it doesn't impede with like makeup or other skincare. I love that. The Mahalo stuff is so great. It helps that it comes from a tropical island to make you think tropical island. The other brand that of course makes me think like tropical island or that like I'd want if I were on a tropical island is Leilani. Um, this is the the balancing, the Bohemian Ruby balancing toner. It, this is actually different from the last time I tried it. I just recently opened up the new bottle of it that I bought a couple of months ago when she re um, repackaged because I had the old packaging. This smells and feels a little bit different now. It sort of almost smells like bless instead of what it used to smell like. I'm sort of still gathering my thoughts on the new, the new formulation of it. I kind of miss the old formulation. It is still very moisturizing, um, which is why I liked the old one. It has like a very fine mist, but it does. It smells more like bless than I remember, or that it, it just smells more like bless now than it, than it did before. Before it smelled, I can't remember what it smelled like before, but it was more, it was just less, it was less like bless, but anyway. I do like those mists and she does have mists where uh, Mahalo doesn't. She also has the citrus and citrine, which I haven't opened that one up yet. I don't, I hope that one's not any different. <laughs> um, but of course masking, we've got a mask if we're on a tropical island. There's the Leilani Melly Glow and Mermaid mask. Um, I love these masks individually and I love them together. They're such a great combo if you want like hydrated, glowy, superfoods for your skin. I just love these too. These would be great. Great tropical island masks. Or if you want to emulate being on a tropical island. I didn't create like a routine here or anything. I just picked, I just picked um, products that made me think, you know, like tropical island or like bronzy glowy. This video is a mess, isn't it? I don't know. I just thought this would be fun. Like just show you products that make me think, you know, I'm going on vacation because I'm not. Um, so yeah, the, I've got another thing here. This is the Edible Beauty number four uh, tinted vanilla silk hydrating lotion. So it's not, I mean, it's got like a tint to it, but when you put it on, it really only just sort of like blurs the skin. Let me see if I can get it out. And this has got, this has even got some like natural sun protection in it from some of the oils. So it's, it's like a day lotion, um, but it's also got... Um, black raspberry and red, uh, red raspberry seeds that offer um, natural sun protection. It's also got plum. So this is what it looks like when you pump it out. 
but it doesn't, it looks a lot darker than it is. I did wear this today, but when you blend it in, you can see it's like already blending in. It blends in without leaving any kind of like real tint. It just sort of like blurs. I obviously don't know how this would be on like darker skin tones, but I don't think it would be an issue. I think that it um, sort of like blends in enough to the skin that it might not be such an issue. But I'm I'm not really sure. But that, that is a, that is a nice day moisturizer. It's very hydrating, especially if you don't want to wear a lot of like makeup underneath. Wearing stuff underneath or like your skincare that like blurs or, or anything that's like tinted. Um, there's other like tinted SPF sort of products out there like the De Ma Miel, which I love in the summer. Um, there's also the new Ayuna Velo. There's also the, the Josh Roseberg has a tinted one. Um, Blissoma has the um, tinted, uh, the tinted, it's not really tinted, it's got axisanthin in it, but it sort of acts like as a, a blur, like a blurring effect. Um, so then if we're talking sunscreens, I love the Malu Protecting Day Cream SPF. This is a great, a great SPF. It goes on really nicely. And I love the scent of this one too. But it does, it blends in so nicely that it doesn't leave, see it's like already almost like fully blended in. It doesn't leave a white cast on the skin. It just blends in really like effortlessly. Mm, I love that. And again, it's like not super thick so that it messes with your makeup if you do choose to put makeup on top like um i would wear like the fit glow vita active foundation which is what i'm wearing today um or like the fit glow concealers if you don't want to wear like a full face of makeup um all sits beautifully on top of all of this so let's see the only other things i've got are sort of like makeup related because really that's like where all your all of your glow <laughs> um well i mean your, it comes from your skincare too but it does come a lot from makeup like all this is like makeup today see my hair is like what did i do to it it did get a little bit crunchy so yeah the sort of like glowy things that i've got um this is what i mixed in with my foundation today i mixed in two pumps of the fit glow vita active foundation with two or three drops of the nini organics glow illuminator this stuff is so so pretty so i mean you could either wear this on your skin on its own to just sort of give your skin some extra glow after you put you know your moisturizer or your oils or whatever on because it's just got like a nice like bronzy very subtle like when you when you um sort of like glow to it i mean that's all like oil glow but it's got like a very subtle bronzy glow when you when you rub it in so I did, I like, I mixed that with my foundation and it, it gave my skin like extra, cause my skin wasn't this dewy um, in the video on Monday, but it is because I mixed in some like illuminating primers and like oils and things like that. The other sort of highlighty product, like that's an actual highlighty product where this is just sort of like a glow, it just like makes your face, it's like a glowing face oil. The Maya Chia highlight of the day in after hours is like my favorite um, summer highlight right now. I didn't wear it today, I should have. Um, I wore the uh, Fit Glow Lumi Firm, but I love this one um, because it's like a very subtly sort of like bronze. Yeah, it doesn't like, it almost seems like it might be dark like when you put it on, but then when you like blend it in, it just is like a very light bronze highlighted color. God, I love that stuff so much. Ugh. I love that. That's my favorite of the highlight of the day is like when I run out of all of them, that's the that's the one I'll, I'll repurchase over the other two. I forget, oh, well, she's got three, but the other there's one that does contain Carmine, so I don't have it. I think the other ones are Happy Hour and The Golden Hour. One is a little more pinky and one is a little more golden, but that After Hours one is my absolute favorite. Um, so another makeup sort of thing um, that I love for glow is the Fit Glow Sunny Days Trio. I'm just like totally obsessed with this. My rosé is is breaking a little. So I keep trying to like press it in to sort of like repress it. It is a little bit fragile. And I don't know why that is that just that one shade is sort of more fragile than the others, but um yeah, I love this palette. I used it today. I just I did like sort of a light contour with this. Bronze up the whole face and then cheeks. Again, if you want to see this more in action, check out Monday's video because I did um, use this in Monday's video. Gosh, absolutely love that thing. I'm gonna be using that like to death. So I hope that you guys don't get sick of this makeup look because 
I'm probably gonna be wearing it in most of my videos. <laughs> um, yeah, and then of course for lips, the last makeup thing and like the last thing in general that I have here that I'd want, you know, to like emulate tropical summer golden glow vibes are the Fit Glow um, Lip Serums in Beach Glow and Rosé. I'm wearing Beach Glow today. I just love these colors so much. These are the perfect colors for summer because they give your lips just like a little bit a little bit of something extra, but you're not wearing like lipstick. You know, the lip serums help nourish your lips, which if you're out in the sun, say you're actually going to the beach, you're actually going on vacation, you know, they help keep your lips like hydrated, moisturized, where um, if you were wearing like a lipstick, I don't know, I don't think that would be as comfortable. I don't like to bring lipsticks when I go on vacations. I like to bring the lip serums, but I also wear lip serums like 99% of the time. I hardly ever wear lipstick anymore, even though I love lipstick, but, these, uh, the lip serums are like, they're hard to give up. I love them so much. So yeah, so I uh, made my hair a little bit frizzy. I wonder if it's got like any... It's hard to tell if there's any sort of like mica shimmer in it, probably not. But anyway, um, I just thought this would be a, a little like fun video to show you like my favorite products or things that make me think that I'm gonna be on vacation or things that, you know, would just be fun to have even on vacation. So like, even if you're actually going somewhere, um, a lot of these products would be great because then they would, you know, your skin would look fantastic and glowy wherever you're going. And even if you're not going on vacation, these products are a great way to sort of recreate what your skin would look like if if you were going on a tropical destination and you know getting tanned and you know spending a lot of time in the water and getting that like beachy hair thing if that happens for you it doesn't for me my hair is just it's a disaster if I let it I thought it would be fun to like try to let it air dry and you know spray that sea salt hairspray stuff in it and see if it worked but it doesn't work for me man it just doesn't so anyway I hope that you guys enjoyed this I hope that it was kind of fun Maybe I'll do something like this for winter, sort of like favorite winter products maybe, or like things that make me, I don't know. Would you even want to see something like that for winter? I, I'd have to think of like how I would do that one or like things to make me feel like protected and warm and cozy maybe. I don't know that I have anything like that really though. So I think this only really works for like summer skincare. For spring skin skincare, it could work too. You know, like things to make your skin feel like fresh and light. Could have done it for spring. Maybe I'll save that for, for spring next year, but we'll see. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, this was fun for me to put together. Just, you know, sort of pick through my products and pick ones that I really loved that made me feel like I was, you know, going on vacation when I'm not. I'm not going anywhere until October. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.